This is Sports Drive. Welcome back into Sports Drive. Once again, I'm your host, Preston Moore. Mentioned we'd be talking a lot about West Texas A&M basketball. Huge, huge games coming up, especially tomorrow night's doubleheader with the boys and the girls basketball teams at West Texas A&M, welcoming two ranked teams into town in Canyon. Joining me to talk about that is Casey Lish, uh, senior at... Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, I am losing my train of thought here. <laughs> I'm, I'm forgetting your title. West Texas A&M Senior Associate Athletic Director for External Relations. It's a bit of a tongue twister, so I apologize for, for messing that up. But Casey, we really appreciate you joining the show. Yeah, no, thanks for having me on. And in all reality, you know, that title is pretty lengthy, but... <laughs> just really means that anything that gets thrown my way we can do so <laughs> that's that's all it really is absolutely well we appreciate you coming on and excited to talk a little bit of west texas a&m athletics obviously a huge huge doubleheader tomorrow night out at the fub we spoke earlier on the show with nylon thabak a senior post player for the lady buffs about the game uh, that they're going to be playing against texas women's number 13 coming into town but on the boys side or on the men's side it's going to be a huge game number one ranking for the first time in program history for wt they'll be welcoming number four Dallas Baptist to town this yep. is the second by my research this is the second regular season game to happen in Canyon between two top five teams in program history for West Texas A&M uh, words can't really describe how big of a deal that is when it comes to this game I mean what's the what's the buzz about in the West Texas A&M athletics office knowing that such a big game is is looming on the horizon just tomorrow well, I mean, I'll, I'll talk about both of them because the TWU matchup on the women's side, you know, how our women have been playing, it's been a roller coaster mm. and they have all the ability. So to have a good home series against a good quality opponent, um, if we can take care of business like we should, we're fully capable of it. Um, I think it'll start us down the right path, um, you know, and then on the men's side, top five is great. Um, you know, the number one, being ranked number one is phenomenal for us because when when you're an 18 to 22 year old college student, seeing that number one is huge, um, drives a lot of, lot of energy. Um, we're hoping to have a huge turnout when it comes to our students. Um, we've got a bunch of promotional items going on for them. You know, as far as the community goes, it's a two and totem Thursday, which means all children 17 and under, they get in free to the game. And then any adult, it's a half price ticket at $5. So really good deal. We're hoping to have a really big crowd. And, you know, one thing that, that we're doing this year, we're doing a white out game. So anybody that listens or watches us, wear a white shirt. We are gonna have some some limited availability white shirts that I'm sure students will, will swoop in and grab. Hmm. Um, you know, but really, Dallas Baptist has always been good. They're well coached. Um, we always seem to, to battle back and forth with them. So to be able to have them on our home court, especially with, with top five rankings, um, it's going to be really exciting. Well, you mentioned that number one ranking, uh, obviously the first time in school history that the school has been ranked or that the men's basketball team has been ranked number one in the coaches poll uh, in the top 25. They've been number two before, obviously. We're number two right before this ranking. They've been number two uh, a few times in years past, but this the first time they've been number one. You mentioned that means a lot for those kids, obviously, on the team. I would imagine it means a lot for the coaches as well when it comes to recruiting high school kids to join the team seeing that this is a team that not only uh is successful on the court but they're successful on the national stage they're getting put very high at number one at the very top of these rankings what does it what does it mean for the program to have this i mean optics wise it, it looks great for us um from a coaching perspective and, and i think uh, an administration perspective it's great um but ultimately you know, regional rankings are, are the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And and this game has a huge implications on that. Mm -hmm. And so although number one is great, um, if we don't if we don't have the regional ranking top spot and be able to host that on our home court again, um, you know, it's it the national rankings are great, but they don't necessarily carry as much weight. Mm -hmm. Right, right, you right. Know, definitely. 
Well, obviously, this game means a lot for the regional rankings as well as the national rankings as Dallas Baptist is uh, probably, I, I would say, the second best team in the Lone Star Conference right now. But that's not to say uh, that the Lone Star Conference isn't stacked. It's always very tough competition uh, across the board, as anyone who follows WT Athletics knows across all sports. Uh, but this game, obviously, it's going to be a really, really great game. When it comes to Dallas Baptist, though, they're averaging over 92 points a game they're really high scoring they're really fast I spoke with coach Tom Brown the head coach of the men's basketball team earlier in the week and he said that his strategy was to go even faster was to prepare even faster so that when they get fast where the WT's already there the buffs are already fast so they're not going to get sped up when it comes to that sort of strategy and and what you're expecting from this game from an administrative perspective or from a fan's perspective you know what's it going to take do you think for the buffs to come out and you know get their 14 win in a row here against Dallas Baptist? Uh, in, in all reality, you know, Coach Brown and his staff do an excellent job, and, and they've played fast the entire time he's been here. So if DBU can keep up with our pace um, and how fast we typically play and, and up and down the court, um, I think us playing our game the way we do, it's going to be hard to beat us. And we, I mean, we've shown that over the years, and Coach Brown has shown that over the years that once we hit once we hit this time of year we're all strapped on and everything is ready to go and it's it's difficult to win when you especially when you come here to our place Mm -hmm. What is it about the FUB and about Canyon and about WT that, you know, gives that environment? Because obviously tomorrow night we're certainly hoping to see a packed FUB and, and, and lots of fans in the stands. But really on any given night in the FUB, it's one of the more difficult places to play for opposing teams in the Lone Star Conference. WT is known for that. WT is known for having some of the strongest fans in Division II across all sports. What is it about the FUB and about West Texas A&M as a community uh, that you think is going to make a difference tomorrow night in those games? Um, you know, to be honest with you, we have great community support and I think this dates back well beyond my time here. You know, when you look at Bob Snyder, what he did, when you look at Rick Cooper and what he did, and then, you know, the coaches that have come between them um, on both sides of the ball to where we are now, they created a foundation and and everybody in the panhandle loves basketball you know look at look at the girls high school sports and, and the boys high school basketballs like those those crowds are really good um you know and so it just kind of feeds into what we naturally have here and our our support from the community our donors season ticket holders um, all of those things they bring a different kind of energy you know and and like i i'm not from texas i'm from idaho but I, what i like to tell everybody is you know here at wt everything really is kind of bigger in texas it you certainly know, is it, it is bigger and better um to some extent yeah, absolutely. It certainly is. And, and the fans and the community and the passion for our sports uh, is one of those things that I would I would argue, it, being from here, is bigger in Texas. Uh, Casey, we really appreciate you joining the show, talking a little WT athletics. We're really, really excited for this doubleheader. Tomorrow night, Texas women's and Dallas Baptist. Texas women's number 13, Dallas Baptist number 4, coming in town to play the Lady Buffs and the number one ranked in the country men's basketball team, uh, West Texas. And I'm Buffalo's Casey. Once again, really appreciate you coming on the show to talk about it. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. We'll be right back to wrap things up here on Sports Drive in just a moment.